Good morning. Today is Wednesday. It is the 27th day of Elul. And we begin today a whole brand new chapter in the Yeres HaKodesh, chapter 18, Chai, in the holy letters of the Alter Rebbe in the Tanya. Now in this chapter, the Alter Rebbe is talking about two levels of love to Hashem. It is in a way also um, connected with the previous chapter, the Alter Rebbe, in the previous chapter, discussed about Rechava Mitzvah Schameoida, the mitzvah of tzedakah is so wide, and he explained that there are two, the levels of godly revelation in Gan Eden is something that is achieved by one's doing throughout his lifetime in this world. And that is why it is like the fruit of the tree. It has different levels, different types of fruit, different people who reach different levels of godly delight and godly revelation in the heaven. But ultimately, there is a higher level, and that is in the level of uh, the revelation that will be in the world to come, meaning when Mashiach will come and will be the resurrection of the dead, then the revelation will be much, much greater beyond limitations. And that's why the tzaddikim, they are waiting for this to happen because they also want to experience the real godly revelation in the time of the resurrection. This is the two levels. That means a certain one thing is that something that you can achieve on your own through your stud, Torah studies, through the mitzvahs. And the other thing is something that is, comes as a gift from above. But he said that it's a tzedakah, giving tzedakah, being that you're acting godly, it makes you a vessel that you should be able to receive even the higher level of godly revelation, which is coming when Mashiach comes by the resurrection. But when you give tzedakah, you're able to con connect to that level even here. And in this chapter 18, the Alter Rebbe also talks about these two types of love to Hashem. Our person is, feels love to Hashem. He feels connected to Hashem. These also, in generally speaking, there are two types of love. One is a love that a person cannot achieve on his own. It is a gift that comes from above. When someone gives you a gift, you cannot demand, you cannot expect a gift. If the person decides to give you a gift, he'll give you a gift. You cannot say, hey, wait a second, my birthday is past, you didn't give me a gift. You can, a gift is something you, you, don't, you don't earn. A gift is something that if it's decided, someone decides to give you a gift, it gives you. The same thing, this is the level of love of Hashem that is given to a person as a gift. And we'll soon explain. And there is the other level that we can achieve, that we can work on to find it ourselves. So let's look inside. <coughs> And we'll see what the Alter, uh, the Alter Rebbe says. There we go. Siv, it says in the Shira Shirim, the Song of Songs, it says, Ma yafit uman na'amt ahava betanagi. How beautiful and how pleasant are you, ahava? What is Ava Betanogim? It is love and delight, a pleasant love. Who is saying, who is talking over here? It is the Knesset Israel, the source of the Jewish Neshama, saying to Hashem, How pleasant are you? How beautiful are you? The love in the delight of Hashem. And he explains, Hine. There are two kinds of love. One type of love is It is a love which is called love in delight. Meaning, let's 
that a person is delight is delights wonderfully in Hashem. Delights wonderfully in Hashem. What does that mean? Besimcha Rabba Vatsuma with a great and immense joy, Simcha Sanefesh, it is a joy of the soul, Vechaloisa. It is the yearning of the soul, the soul to the point that it goes out, Betam Akitoy Vashem. And it states that Hashem, that God is good, Uneim Neimis Arevis Ad Laafli, and is delightful, as wondrously, uh, wondrously sweet delights. It is a truly foretaste of the world to come where the righteous people sit there and they, they, they enjoy the crowns on their head and they take delight in the radiance of the Divine Presence. In the, concerning this type of level of love, it is written, rejoice your righteous in God. So the, the, this kind of love, we, there is the, basically, there, there is two types of love. So there's one love, and it's called avabetanogim, love and delight. It is something, if you think about what is love, one way of love is when you wanna, when you wanna connect to someone, you know, someone is in love with someone, and he wants, you want to you want to get it. That means there is something that you don't have it yet. They say there is the difference of these two loves. They compare it to fire and water. You have the water is very calm and very quiet. You no, know, say quiet water goes deep, right? It's very quiet love. It's a love that is calm and quiet. Why is it calm and quiet? Because you have it. When you have, uh, just in a sense, you can talk about also when you love yourself. Obviously, everybody loves themselves. We have our self-love. And this is a love that is not, you're not excited in this love. You just love yourself. You have it. But even when you're talking about something that you're in love with something else, when you have it, the love is a very calm love. But then there is a love that is compared to fire. A fire, when you have a big fire, it makes a lot of noise. Why, why does it make noise? You have a big fire, makes noise. Like, uh, but we have, a, let's say, you turn on a match, the match doesn't make that noise. What's the difference? Not because it's a smaller fire. It is what makes the noise in, when there is an opposition to the fire, when there is the moisture. The moisture is being consumed in a fire that makes the noise. That is the excitement. When, you, when in the match, which is dry wood that has no opposition to the fire, there is a flame that goes quietly. So the love in the same way, there is a love that you want to achieve, that you're working on it, and, the, and there is opposition to it, meaning you cannot get it. Whether you're talking about love to Hashem, and there's a position, there's obstacles, there's the Yitzhahara that doesn't let it, but yet on the other hand, you want to get it, you want to get close to Hashem. This is a fiery love, and this makes a person trying again and again and again, and wants to go out and wants to do it. This is the, the lower level of love. But what he's talking about, about over here is the Ahava Beta Nugim, the love and delight is a level that a person achieved something what was given to him from above. That connection, that feeling that he's there already. He's there with the king. He's there with Hashem. This is called Ava Beta Nogim. A love with delight. And this is similar to what we spoke before about the revelation that will be when the resurrection of the dead it will be a godly revelation that we will feel and we will see and we'll be, we will delight in this love. So let's continue inside. Not everyone merits this. Not everyone is able to have this kind of love. 
at least not in the fullest extent, as we'll soon see. This level of love, the Zoya says, is the level of a koyen. A koyen is called the Kana Rabba. The great koyen gets this level of love. There is a difference between the koyen and the levi. The koyen, the work of the koyen, is very quiet love. Very quiet work. He goes in the temple and he does his job very quietly. He doesn't make any noise. The levy is um, music, singing, making noise, cl- clapping with their instruments, a lot of excitement. The, le- the koyan represents the deeper love from the depth of the heart, which is a gift that Hashem gives. The levy represents the love, the fiery love, that you have to fight and get the love to Hashem. And in this it is says, and the level of the love from the coin, it says, I shall grant you. It is says the service of, of, a, of a coin is a service as a gift. And a stranger who comes near and, and does tries to do what the coin does shall die because not that the person is not. Not everyone gets that level of love. A person that doesn't qualify for this cannot, uh, cannot contain this high level of love. Because there's no way that a person can attain this level of love through working, putting effort. Effort is not going to help you. Like it's like it is true by the level of awe of Hashem. We're talking about awe, year of fear of Hashem, awe of Hashem. This is something that you can work for. When you put effort, you get it. Regarding the level of awe, when a person passes on to the world to come, one of the question, one of the questions that a person is asked is Yagata Beira. Did you labor with awe? Meaning, did you really try hard to to achieve awe of Hashem? And there is another verse that says, Another statement as in Reishis Chachman says, Woe to a mortal who did not labor with awe. Because, Because awe of Hashem is something you can achieve when you work for Him. As it is written in the book, Reishis Chachma, Uksiv Beyira. And regarding Yira, regarding O, it says, Im Tevakshena Ka Kesef If you seek, if you seek it like silver and search, uh, search for it, for hidden treasure, then you will attain a fear of God. What does it mean, seek it like a hidden treasure? It's like when you go out and work and you dig, like in the gold rush, people went and they, they dug and they dug and they dug and they didn't get tired. They didn't say, oh, forget it, there's nothing there. Why? Because they knew there's gold hiding there. When you know about the gold rush, well, it's not certain that you're going to find gold. But if, but if you know if you know for certain that deep, deep, deep inside there is a treasure, you're not going to get tired. You're going to work for it and work for it and work for it until you find it. So the same thing is true regarding our awe of Hashem that is deep, deep inside us. When we work for it, we think about it. We learn about the greatness of Hashem. We learn about the Neshama. We learn about the Yid. And we, and we dig, dig, dig. You're going to find the treasure of awe to Hashem. Melamed, this teaches us, Shetzricha, Yegiya, Rabba, Ve'atzuma that it requires a great and intense exertion. Just like one who searches for a treasure, that you know it's there, so you're not going to get tired. That is true with the level of awe of Hashem, fear of Hashem. But this level of love, 
which is Ahava Betan Nogim, and the love in the light of Hashem. Noifeles la'odom eileo milemaila. This comes upon a man by itself from above. Bli she'yochen ve'yechaven lo. It's not that you're planning it. It's not that you're preparing and, and, and making sure that this happens. But it comes from Hashem as a gift. However, in order to give to, to the gift to even uh, come to you, you have to be a vessel. It's not that you are able to get it, but you have to prepare yourself to have a vessel. And then, if the gift comes, you have a vessel, and the, and this love comes. What is the vessel? But only after. He exerts himself in Yiras Reimimus, meaning to attain a high level of fear that a person stands in awe of Hashem's, of God's majesty. And after a person attains the maximum that one is able to attain according to the level of his soul, because not everybody is the same way, but then when you are able to reach there, as I mean, meila bo'o ahav betanugim milemaila. But then, by itself, the ahav betanugim, the love and the light comes from above to dwell lishkain uleisyachedim ayira. It comes and it unites, becomes united with the fear. He says, "Why kida koishel ish lechaze chulu kemeshekasu berekuti amarim." He says, because the way of man is to search for the woman. In the Kabbalah, al Rebbe explains in the Kutei Amor Mentanya that the chesed, love, it, it represents the man. The fear represents the woman. And the woman, the fear, it says, Yisha Yira Hashem. The woman is a fear of God. And regarding the male, it says, Zocha chasdeim. Zocha chasdeim means remembering the kindness. But zocha also comes from the word zocha, which means male. That male is connected with kindness. And the way is to seek is that it says the male seeks after the woman. After the woman. This is in the world the way it, it's done. That uh, usually the boy has to find the girl. The boy has to go out. And in, in the Shidduchim also, they says that uh, the Rebbe many times tells people, you want a Shidduch? Go look for it. You got to work, look for it. The man has to go seek the woman. But the same thing is also here true in this sense, in, in, the, in the level of the love and fear, is that the love will seek after the woman, after the fear. Meaning that when a person prepares himself with fear of Hashem, we achieve ourselves in fear to Hashem in the highest level then the love is able to come to us, that higher level of love. So this is in general. But specifically also, uh, Rebbe says that even, uh, even a regular person, even though the Alter Rebbe says here that this level of love is only for special tzaddikim, only uh, the people is, they are ready for it, and there's a gift, and not every, everybody receives it, but the Alter Rebbe says that deep, deep inside, the, the, a person has a little bit, a little tiny taste of this love. And now we get very closer to Rosh Hashanah. And we definitely can connect to the level of love. And tomorrow will be, this is the end of today's year. Tomorrow we'll, we'll discuss the level of love that everybody can, can work for and achieve. So uh, if, thank you for joining. And come again tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. And please share, please subscribe. Make sure to spread this wonderful words of Hashem. All the best. Anybody has any questions, now we can ask.